Welcome back. So I got another small mail day. Seems to be the theme as of late. And got some cards, obviously, in front of you. Also have a rather unique item. So I'm going to start off with that unique item. So this is a little souvenir bat. But what's rare about it is actually it's Morris Arnovich. So you can see right there. Stamped. So this is Cincinnati Reds, I believe. So 1940 souvenir bat. And I really don't see many of these coming up. So when I saw it listed, even though I don't really do a whole lot of oddball items, really anything beyond flats, whether it's cards, postcards, or photos, um, this was just one of those things I don't see too often. It was not a lot of money. Um, and I thought it would be a unique piece to add to the Arnovich collection. So that was... Item number one. That was an eBay purchase. This next card is also an eBay purchase. If you can tell, it's difficult with this. So, Mario Lemieux, again, signed on the back. So, I thought this was an interesting one. Uncertified. So it is a risk. There we go. That's better. But it was also inexpensive. Auction win. Um, I'm going to take a chance and I'll probably send it in with the next batch of cards I send to Garrett Card Cutter. So that was eBay as well. Auction win. Now this one was interesting because uh, Brian B. Ross 6. Uh, messaged me, said someone that he knew had some Greenberg cards available. He didn't need any of them, so I'm fine getting the seconds on that. And I really don't need any of these, but for the right price, as you know, I will pick them up. So I reached out to this individual via Facebook Messenger. He showed, Brian showed me pictures prior, and... He said, what is he looking for? He gave me a price range, which I was not in agreement with, which happens. But as I'll do sometimes on Facebook, on, sorry, on eBay, I basically said, I wrote back, said, you know, I see what you have. They're slabbed. There's no question of grade. You know, here's my offers. They're standing offers. If you want to shop them around, go ahead. But if you want to come back, you know, they'll be good. And that's what I will pay for them. So I sent that, that message to him. He had four cards. He immediately said he'll accept the offers on three of them. So this is what I end up getting. So three plain days, Greenbergs, all low grade. Um, I ended up spend, spending $425 for all three combined. Um, if you look at the current market, that's fair, in my opinion. Maybe on the on the lower end, but fair, nevertheless. So starting off, we have 1935 Gaudi 4-in-1, Fox Greenberg Walker Row. This is a PSA 1.5, newer slab. And I like this version because it has the Mistaken Jew on the back, Buddy Meyer. Even though, even though it says Meyer's here. So that's Greenberg number one, 35, 4 and 1. Next up, the well known um, and just uh, countless copies available at any given time 1939 Playball Hank Greenberg in the SGC 2. Now the front, you look at the card, it presents a lot better than a 2, without a doubt. And the reason why it got kicked down the grade, because I, someone stamped their name on the back. Which, again, the price is right, I don't mind that. Um, 
in, fi in fact, it's kind of interesting to have that on some cards. This is the all caps version. Not a sample, but a solid card nevertheless. And the one I was very excited to add, I was very happy accepted the offer. This card is beat up. It is ripped. It is stained. It is rounded, uh, which is why it's a PSA 1. It's 1938 Gaudi, number 277, Hank Greenberg. 277 has the cartoons in the back. But these cards in particular, probably more so than any other Hank cards except for his rookie, have just been taking off. 38 Gaudi was never a, an inexpensive set to begin with, but the last six months, prices have absolutely skyrocketed. Um, so I'm happy kind of with what I have. If I can find something at a reasonable price, I'll still get it, but that's few and far between. I don't anticipate having any more of really these deals come about. Um, but it was a pretty solid little mail day, even though we only had three packages. So we have the Morris Arnovich bat up top, which is probably the rarest thing in front of you. Um, that's the only one I've ever personally seen um, in the two plus years I've been looking and, and tracking Arnovich stuff. Um, 39 play ball, 35 Gaudi, 38 Gaudi, all Greenberg. Again, happy to add those to the collection. And we also have the Lemieux hopefully authentic signature on the back of a hologram from 91 Upper Deck. So that's the mail I have for you this time around. And until next time, please remember to collect what you enjoy, enjoy what you collect, and don't let anybody, especially the market or YouTuber, dictate that to you. And most importantly, have fun. And have fun by have fun by being active in this community whether it's making videos watching and commenting going to live streams group chats going to your lcs or local card show or simply talking about the hobby with family and friends the more you put into it the more you'll get out of it the more you'll learn the more your pc will grow the more people you'll meet and the more fantastic friendships you'll form so i thank you very much for joining me hope to see you again have a good one and bye for now